Well, tip top of the day to you, Coach Pierre here. And today, on another episode of Trench Talk, I have a good friend of mine, Jeremiah's J-Man Monero. Say what's up, man. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Jeremiah's J-Man Monero coming to you from Rochester, New York, here with my good friend, Pierre. It's a pleasure to be here. And I'm happy that you take the time to be here, man. It's great. So, you know, what's Trench Talk? You know, I've, Jay and I have been doing real estate for about 14 years. And yeah. what we do is we decide that we want to come together and we want to have real stories and real conversations from the trenches. You know, there's a lot of real estate gurus and coaches and people out here who claim it to have done stuff. But then when you ask them for some of their stories about, okay, what are some of the stuff that you did actually do? Mm -hmm. They don't because they're coaches from textbooks and they're coaches from downloads and Google. But right. when you speak to people who have stories from the trenches... Um, you get real life experiences and things that you can hold on to and apply to your life. So as I have Jay on Trench Talk, I want to ask him a question. Now, you're sure. a national trainer. Yes, sir. You travel the country. You've trained mm -hmm. thousands of agents at this point. Thousands, yeah. And what's the number one challenge that you see when you meet some of these agents as you travel? Technology. Okay. Technology, point blank. I mean, it's it's not just technology and social media, but I think sometimes they're just so... What's the word I'm looking for? They're, they're overwhelmed, right? Like they think, I know I need to get better with technology. Where do I start? And once they get there, even if they have a blueprint, they need help along the way. And I think that's where somebody like the both of us, like just can have such a great impact on the industry because it is real talk. Like yeah. when, I, when I tell you to do this, it's because I've done it and I've helped clients, you know, have a better experience because you know, the both of us, and we've talked about this in, in the past, the reason why we do this is to make a difference in the industry, Yeah. right? I mean, we could sell real estate. We're good at selling real estate. We can make a lot more money in the time that we spend speaking, selling real estate, but we choose to do it to help our fellow realtor be better, do better, make the industry better, yeah. and have an overall better experience with the consumer. Yeah, yeah, and I appreciate that. You know, one of the things that we do on Trench Talk is we like to give you a story, a real life story, something mm -hmm. you could relate with. Now, I remember back in, it was about 2005, that's when we started. Well, yeah, we okay. both started we both the same started time. Same time. I didn't know each we, other. We didn't know each other, but we're I, like. I, I met Jay just my, uh, on my designation classes. Yeah, so Pierre is my me. spirit animal, I think, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just call me an animal. I don't know. But we like to give you a real life story. Now, I remember back in 2005 when I started in the business. Mm -hmm. And internet was just kind of coming up. It was dial up. You know, you have at AOL on, um, online and you had that dial up internet. Beep, are you? <laughs> yeah. And and <laughs> I remember sitting in my office and back in those days, the biggest thing for real estate was sign calls, mm -hmm. um, up calls. You used to have up calls. You know, if any of you old enough to understand what an up call is, but you had to sit down in the office between a certain specific time and wait for the phone to yeah, ring. Yeah, opportunity time. Opportunity yeah, time. Yeah, that's what we called it too. That was the biggest <laughs> lead generation tactic yeah, from back yeah. in back yeah. in 05. Like, what's your plan? I'm gonna sit in the office. I'm gonna sit today. in the office. Like, what's your lead business. generation strategy? I'm sitting in the office. You know, <laughs> or what's your lead generation strategy? I'm waiting for a sign call. Yeah. And that's all that we had. And then right. what had happened was uh, I discovered the internet, and I didn't discover the internet. You know. Al Gore did, I think. Yeah. And, but anyway, so <laughs> discovered the internet, and I figured out that it was a better way to, to generate business. Now, there was agents in my office, all they were talking about was like, get listings, get listings, get listings. And I'm okay with that. But I figured out, wait a minute, if everybody's getting listings, then nobody wants to work with the buyers. So right. true. I'll work with all the buyers, and I did. And I remember as I began to work with the buyers, funny story, there were listing agents in my office talking about, Oh man, what are you doing on this internet stuff? Ain't nobody never want to buy no house or no real estate, um, no internet. Ain't nobody going to be clicking no house to card. Ain't nobody going to be right. doing none of that stuff on the internet. But guess what? They're out of the business and I'm still in. Mm -hmm. All right. So one of the things that we want to really bring to you on Trench Talk is this. Don't listen to what everyone else is saying. Don't believe okay? the hype. Don't believe the hype. And all the people that are still talking about all these old school generation tactics and, you know, door knock this and, 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 and cold call this and all that stuff. There is a better way. So one of the things that we want to invite you to mm -hmm. is something that Jay and I, because we are passionate about what we do, is on what, what date is it on? March 12th. March 12th. And it's called the Social Ninja Media Summit. It's sponsored by Contour and a great company, great bank. Uh, we love the fact that they support education and knowledge. Mm -hmm. And at Social Ninja Media, we are going to be showing you guys some real ninja tactics about how to excel on your lead generation on social media. Here's what we believe. 
lead generation is not about going out there and hunting, but we'll right. teach you how to attract. And it's called attractive-based marketing. Mm -hmm. Here's what I can share with you. If you get the client to come to you, it's a much better experience as you going to try to bludgeon them over the head to get them to work with you. <laughs> I mean, I, I like to think of it as like the Pied Piper way of marketing. Like if you do things right with social media, it's not about how do I capture the lead? You don't have to capture anybody. They're gonna come to you because you're going doo -doo 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 -doo, and they're coming to you because they see you as a resource. They value you as somebody in real estate that they know um, provides insight and can help them solve a problem, which is buy a home, sell a home, or whatever their dreams are, you can, you can help them. And with today's consumer, it's different than generations before, right? They have different core values. They care more about you know, what you're doing to make a difference in the community, um, how you can help them, and how, how your business is helping them achieve the American dream of home ownership. Yeah, so again, uh, great stuff, great information. Uh, we are happy that you guys took a little time to listen to us on Trench Talk, and there's gonna be a lot more coming in, so I'll leave you with this. You know, my mentor told me one time that success is not something that you pursue. Because that thing that you pursue runs away from you. But success is something that you attract mm -hmm. by the person that you become. So become attractive. God bless you guys. As always, J-Man, myself. Looking forward to seeing you guys on the 12th, socialninjamedia.com. Take care.